Well, I think it's about time we dive into another mystery mail. This is, again, I say it every time, I think it's my favorite series. I have so much fun putting this together. I bought this mail years ago. Uh, you're going to see up here what I paid for this parcel. I have no idea what's going to be in here. Uh, I'll probably remember when I see it. Uh, and then we're going to throw up over here uh, what uh, the values are now and see if uh, we did pretty well with the purchase or if... Uh, or if we might have missed on our on our predictions. So uh, we'll dive right in here. And it looks like we got a lot of OPG Platinum. So I'm going to skip ahead to get everything out. So the seller saw I was from Ottawa. Threw a bunch of Ottawa cards in here. So we've got Canada's rookies of Brady Kachuk, Kyle Turris. There's Alfie, our captain. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matt O'Connor, rookie portraits. <laughs> Another guy who's getting himself in trouble. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, We'll go to what we paid for here. I love the Platinum Parallels, especially of guys that are future Hall of Famers. Uh, so Jonathan Huberdeau, probably not a Hall of Famer, but uh, a guy that uh, played for the, the team I liked growing up, the Sea Dogs. So happy to grab that one. These are all the uh, the Blue Surge uh, out of uh, the Walmart Blasters, so parallel. Um, Jack Eichel, uh, David Pasternak, Steven Stamkos, I think guaranteed Hall of Famer. And then back here, we've got a nice color wheel of the flower, Marc-Andre Fleury. Uh, great card. And then another blue surge here of Genny Malkin, one of the most underrated players through his career. I mean, couldn't even crack a top 100 list when he's clearly top 100 uh, players of all time. So happy to add that to the collection. And then one of the goats, we've got a nice sunset parallel of Sidney Crosby. Uh, sunset, very cool card. I love uh, I love the look of these cards with the, the palm tree in the back. One of my favorite parallels. A bunch of cards there that I'm just happy to add to the collection. Uh, and uh, we can see on the counter there if uh, if they were savvy purchases or not. But uh, Hall of Famer parallels, I think, are always a, a good one to, to have in the in the coffer. But uh, we're going to jump into parcel number two. You're going to see what we paid for on the left. And uh, we're going to skip ahead to getting it out of this packaging. We've got a bunch of McDavid's here. We just got the base of the Platinum and then two inserts for best in the world. Uh, so nothing of crazy high value, but I uh, must have seen these for a decent price and thought, ah, who doesn't like sitting on some McDavid cards? Well, he goes to break some uh, some records, some historic records the rest of his career. I mean, how old is he now? And he's already, uh, he's already sneaking up on a thousand points and uh, incredible career. We're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see something special from McDavid. Uh, but getting into parcel number three here, uh, looks like it was already open. Sometimes I do that if I don't know who it's from or uh, if I can't check it off a list uh, to make sure I've received everything. Uh, and that is uh, Jonas Donskoy, who uh, I was picking up a lot of back then, and has since retired and hasn't really done what I expected him to do the rest of his career. Uh, so here's marquee rookies of him, the the parallels here. We got the base, and then we got the parallel uh, rainbow. And then this one, I believe, is the black cracked ice out of 99. Uh, black ice, it's called. So it's not called cracked ice. Black ice, 87 out of 99. So a really nice card, but uh, probably took a hit on this one because Donskoy uh, did, not, uh, did not take off the way I had... Uh, had predicted he would, and now uh, now he's no longer playing. So kind of a bummer there, real bummer. And and to be honest, he's only uh, thirty two. Like it's not like he's he's geriatric by any means. Uh, so kind of a sad sad to see him out of the league. I had I had high hopes for him, but uh, that is parcel number three. We'll get into parcel number four here. You can't go wrong with Ovechkin. He's just hit eight fifty goals. He's within. Striking distance of Gretzky now. He's in the 40s, I think, left to pass Gretzky. I think he's going to do it. I thought he was going to do it back then. And I started picking up his stuff. And uh, so it's just a base there of Ovechkin. Uh, this is kind of a high series short print. So it's number 599. It's season highlights. Uh, and that highlight is from March 12th for uh, assist. Uh, well, it's point number 1200 for OV uh, back on March 12th, 2019. And then we've got a Superstar Showcase from Tim's. We've got a base from SP Authentic. We've got a base from Tim Hortons again. Uh, that would be 1718, so a few years ago. Uh, ooh, that's an early Ovechkin. So it's a Victory Game Breakers from uh, 06 07. So that is uh, his sophomore Game Breakers card from Victory. That's a, that's a very nice card to pick up. Uh, and then we've got his canvas from, from Tim Hortons. Uh, that's from 21-22, C5. 
And then we've got uh, the new guard, Alex Ovechkin. That's from uh, 0809 Upper Deck Hockey Series 2. Uh, so an insert from Upper Deck there. I'm not sure how how tough of a pull these were, uh, but probably nothing too crazy there. But nice to add some Ovechkins to the mix uh, and keep uh, keep that uh, keep that haul of Ovechkins I've got now uh, pretty strong for when he breaks that all-time goal-scoring record. Uh, and we'll get into our last partial here. I'm uh, not sure what uh, what this is going to be, but it's kind of in a uh, a nicer uh, a nicer box here. And there is a note. Oh, I think it's just the the purchase order. They're just scotch taped in cardboard wrapping paper. It looks like it's the complete set of uh, OPG stat leaders from. Uh, 0708 OPG. Uh, so this would be uh, the year after Malkin's dra- or, uh, rookie year, two years after Crosby and Ovechkin's rookie year. Uh, but uh, some so regular season shots on goal, Pims, plus minus, D points, uh, uh, Niedermeyer to Hall of Famer. Uh, we got playoff assists, Lidstrom to Hall of Famer. Uh, interesting, uh, that must have been the year that, uh, yeah, it was Anaheim and Ottawa in the final. But there's Heatley and Spezza and Littstrom, Littstrom. Uh, Alfredson playoff goals and Datsuk, two Hall of Famers. Regular season saves, Martin Brodeur, a Hall of Famer. Playoff game winning goal holes. There's Alfredson that year with four. That's incredible. Gets left with three. Uh, regular season goals, you know, Solani, a Hall of Famer, 48 goals that year. Incredible. Uh, regular season, uh, what's this? Just regular season? Oh, plus minus. Okay. Uh, Alfredson Littstrom, a Hall of Famer there. Regular season power play goals. Solani, a Hall of Famer. Regular season game winning goals. Zetterberg and Solani are, game, are, are, are Hall of Famers. It is weird that they're all 10, but they still put them, you know, biggest to smallest. I guess they just had a design that they couldn't switch from. Uh, anyone else tied here that didn't, uh, didn't get the, didn't get the low? Oh, yeah, the two threes here are interesting. Uh, and then we've got uh, playoff goals against average from Mario Turco that year. Dominic Hasek, a Hall of Famer. Luongo, a Hall of Famer. Uh, we got regular season goals against average and Hasek and Berder, Hall of Famers. Incredible that, that Backstrom was under two. Uh, regular season wins. There's a couple of Hall of Famers there, Berder and Luongo. Regular season shutout. <laughs> Berder had 12 shutouts. That's crazy, eh? Hasek, both Hall of Famers. And then we've got regular season assists here. Joe Thornton, Sidney Crosby, um, both future Hall of Famers. But uh, really cool cards. Just happy to add this to the collection. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, kind of a weird way to finish off, but uh, always fun opening the mail. If you did like this, it helps us out if you do leave us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you uh, want to see more content like this, definitely subscribe. We're going to be bringing different stuff all throughout the week. Uh, and uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. And take care.